Hi fellow YouTubers and one six girl figure collectors this is likely to be on the world again with another video of one of my Hot Toys figures uh, this time it's going to be The Lost Predator from the movie Predator 2 the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm going to be putting him away in a box and storing him in the wardrobe or the attic because I haven't got a lot of room in my detail for these figures now I need to get more details, seriously need to get a few more. Um, what with all the new figures coming out, all the new Batman and the new Avengers and all that I've got on order, um, they're the ones that I want to show more than these, so I'm clearing a space for them. So without further ado, let's take a look at the Lost Predator. First thing that hits you about this guy is his colour. Um, all the other Predators are sort of greys, browns, blacks, this guy is green so he stands out a lot more than the other figures and one of the little gripes I've got with this figure is his dreadlocks um, as they come out, when he comes out of the box as you can see they're all sprayed out like this but as I've mentioned in other videos just do the um, dreadlock mod and this will rectify this problem this was the last Predator that Hot Toys made that you had to put together yourself. A lot of people are a bit upset about that. Personally, I prefer not to put them together because it's a bit of a pain to do it and there's a really good chance as you're putting them together you will break bits. So I prefer to have them already fully um, assembled out of the box with just having to put the odd hands on and the weapons to me that's a lot better, a lot of people will disagree with that but say these figures aren't cheap and if you put them together yourself and you do break them you will kick yourself. Uh, let's have a look at him. This guy, pretty standard, doesn't come with a lot of armament. He's got a different type of chest armour from the other Predators. This has got more like a, um, it's more of a technical type of it's not the right word, I can't think of the right word at the moment but um, the armour on this guy, you can see behind there he's got all the wires a lot more little lights on it whereas the other Predators they were just plain armour so that's a nice touch they've done it's got the standard shoulder armour so you have to put all this on one on that arm, another one on the other arm I'll turn him around in a minute so you can get a better look the loincloth is fabric that's a bit of a pain to put on because his hips are quite wide and it's quite a tight fit so you have to be careful when pushing it up so you don't rip it comes with several different hands he's got this hand here for holding his custom spear which I'll come on to in a minute this hand for holding his throwing disc and down here you've got this hand for holding his extendable spear Got sort of more like a more sort of aggressively relaxed type hand there, and the same again on the other one, more aggressively typed relaxed hand. Comes with biomask, obviously different design from all the others. I prefer him without the biomask on. I think it looks much better without it on. It's got the classic shin armor, very similar to all the other predators no weapons that go on the side so it's very barely bare minimum with weapons on this guy as with all the other lost predators he also comes with a skull trophy uh, one of the creatures that he's killed this is probably one of the worst skull trophies that they released because this figure was released quite a while ago you, you know, give him the benefit of the doubt there let him off with that it's not badly sculpted but the paint apps are a little bit off should I say. Here's his extendable spear so watch out when pulling them out because these are very sharp these points here they will stick in your finger and it does hurt. That's the spear fully extended obviously you can push it back in there is nowhere to put it on his back like a lot of the other predators he has to hold it and there's his little computer built into his spear so let's just turn him around hopefully he won't fall off there you can see his throwing disc 
which does open up and close and it also closes down and you place it um, I don't think there is anywhere to place this throw this disc on this figure correct me if I'm wrong normally on this leg here there's like a, a pouch where you stick it on but with this figure you don't get it let's turn him around to the back so you can have a look leave that there not very expertly done a lot of people will probably do a lot better than me but that's his little um, like a little belt type well it's not a belt it's just like a little trophy as you can see there just wraps around him I suppose you could put it around his neck or anywhere you want really over his shoulder maybe trim that down a little bit so it's not dangling down as much but so you don't see this figure from the back so it doesn't bother me too much here's the back of the armour as you can see there he has got a place for the medi kit but he doesn't come with one I suppose you could go out and buy one off eBay and place it on there if you wish so you have got that option um, this breastplate here it's got little lugs in the back that you have to push in it is quite stiff again you've got to heat it up with the old trusty hairdryer so it becomes very flexible and then you can just easily push it in not a problem same with the head heat the head up with the hairdryer so it fits onto his neck quite nicely because that is a very very tight fit so the dreads are rubberized um, so they are quite easy to sort of put in hot water so they do fall down a bit more nice dreads actually on this figure this is um, a bit something that comes a bit different with the predators this is the um, spear that he's actually made himself no other predator comes with this as you can notice on this arm he doesn't have his extendable wrist blades that's because what he's done is he's actually built them onto the end of this spear here put them on the end of his spear so he's very much a sort of survivalist type predator I'll say this guy he's the sort of one that would go out and build anything out of anything build a weapon out of nothing really um, it's probably a specialist hunter he comes with the open mandibles as you see here so very very nice head sculpt on this figure great paint apps I wish Hot Toys would do a few more predators like this now something a little bit different let's say there's the extendable jaw the um, open mandibles very nice look on this figure and obviously you can take these out which I will now a attempt to do quite stiff it's nice having them a bit stiff in there who uh, misses because uh, less chance of them falling out and let's go ahead and try and put these in so I'm trying to look at the figure oh. bear with me a sec as you should know by now, my vid vid videos are very amateurish. There's one. Just swap hands over. And there's a second one. So there he goes with his closed mandible look. Very nice. With these closed mandibles, they've got it. It's a little bit better than some of the older preds that you had the closed mandibles. They seem to it seems to look a lot better they cross over better which to me I prefer and then if I show you with his mask on doesn't come with any pipes that you put from the mask because he hasn't got a shoulder cannon because he's a lost predator so there he is with his bio mask on it is a nice look so I prefer him without it on um, what I'm thinking of doing is buying loads of parts from different predators on eBay and making up my own predator and I might start using some of these biomasks for them I say great figure to have um, he's not too highly priced on eBay I have seen him fairly cheap he's one of the predators a lot of people don't bother with um, so I love all my predators so I'm a bit reluctant to put him away in his box again because that means I've got to break him all down there's a good chance I could break a bit 
but he will be coming out again when I get more detoffs. So let me know what you think of this this figure. I rate this probably a seven out of ten. Um, hopefully, help you more. We'll do a few more of the um, lost predators. So there were quite a few in the film. Obviously, they've got to make it up themselves because you couldn't see them very well. But all in all, great figure. Nice one to add to your predator collection. Very highly poseable as well. Got some good joint um, ball joints and hinge joints on his body, so you can pose him in quite dynamic poses. So there you go. Till my next video, which will be the final update of my Jade Van Helsing figures, with the odd little bits that I've changed on them, which I will do in a minute. So, so until then, this is Lycan of the Underworld signing off. Catch you later.